Hey guys, this is Second Chance Stables, and I got back from camp. I took a week off as a break to just sort of catch up on life, and I'm filming a video. So I thought, um, why not make the first video of me coming back a barn tour because I know how much you guys love those. So this is my barn tour for July 2014. Um, for people just tuning in, my horses and my people and my trailers and my dogs and every piece of dust, I guess, lives on these, this bookshelf. It has four levels and um, it has twinkle lights in the background, but I don't need them because it's morning out. So yeah, so let's start. Um, okay, so this is the entrance. Um, sorry, my... I have to use my phone to film. So this is where trucks, trailers, and people just go in. Um, it says, Welcome to Second Chance Stables. It has some nice flowers and some birds. And over here in the front paddock, we have Silver, um, our Andalusian stallion, just decked out in some fly gear. OK, so this was sent to me by a fellow YouTuber. Let me get her name. Just give me one second. Okay, so I feel a little pause. So the fly sheet was sent to me from Moonridge Stables. I did a trade with her a while back and she sent me a surprise package. Sorry I didn't get to film a video of it. I came back and I was all groggy and it was just really bad. But um, you guys should totally check out her channel. She makes pretty good tack too, so that's, that's a plus. Alright, so we have Silver who absolutely hate fly hates flies, so he just decked out in a fly mask and a fly sheet. Um, we have a hay bale in the back, and over here we have little arrow. Um, they're sort of best friends. So yeah. Okay, so over here is the border barn, um, which is basically where the border horses stay, uh, which means people own them. I tried to rotate it around, so yeah. So right now, this is their little gate. I'm working on something, don't worry. He's just blocking, his butt is just blocking the way. All right, okay. And yeah, I'm really cool. Okay, so over here we have our dog Sire and he's just sniffing some poop because that's one of his hobbies. Um, in our first stall we have Belladonna. She is the Tennessee Walker mare and yeah, so. These are all box stalls. I have three box stalls and a wash stall. Um, there's a stable hand just bringing out some poop, but you know, he won't let her because he's smelling it. Okay, we have a blanket rack, <laughs> is that what you call it? And a place to hang up halters as well as a little shovel. Over here is um, Max, and he's leading his horse Trickster in to maybe wash him because I see a sponge in there somewhere. Yeah. Uh, Trickster is a barrel racer. He also does show jumping, which is really weird. It's like two opposites, but you know, he's pretty cool that way. And over here we have Lady, okay. Yeah, okay. We have Lady. Um, she is the 2013 Hanoverian mayor. Uh, I had to make her a little stand because She's sort of off balance, so she can't stand properly. But, you know, I like her. So, and this is Trickster stall. We have some jump storage over here and an extra bridle. Okay. And over here is the mare and full barn. So right now, um, the vet is just stopping by and giving all the foals a checkup, which is why you don't see any of the mares in here, because they tend to get a little overprotective. So yeah. So we have our vet just checking out our little Appaloosa foal. Um, over there is our Hanoverian foal, Jive, and Megan and Karen are just seeing uh, her walk to make sure everything's okay. Okay, so this is the Marin Foal Barn. It has five stalls. Um, this is for the Lipizzaners. That's for the Camargs. Back there is for the Percherons, over there is for the Tennessee Walkers, and this is for the Appaloosas. So we have our Camargue Mare Diamond, and that's a custom by Moonridge Stables. Um, her name is Honey, I believe. So yeah, she's the Frisian Foal. Uh, back there is Stormy, the uh, 
Pershawn Folk. And over here we have our two Tennessee Walker yearlings, their siblings. So the black one is Forrest and the light tan is Victory. And yeah, empty stall. There's actually no poop in here. That's kind of weird. And over here is our Lip is Honor full Flicka. Um, so yeah, so this is the first level. Yeah, okay. So this is the sec sorry, this is the second level. It's really busy um, because this is where our arena is and where people tack up their horses to ride. So this is the main barn. It says Second Chance Stables Equestrian Center and there's that nice little picture that like killed all my ink. Okay, so we have uh, the Pinto Stallion Wind Dancer who I absolutely adore. Um, it's kind of awful because in the next videos, uh, next episodes of my series, he's not going to be showing up because someone stole him, so you guys won't get to see him as much, but it's okay. Um, speaking of that, I have the script for my third episode, and it should be the next video up after this. Over here in the second stall is Dude. He's the Hanoverian Stallion. Um, over here we have Eliza leading out Ace, or Ace of Spades. It's a very common show name. Um, and he's the Camargue Stallion. I might have already said that. <laughs> and over there is Maple, the Hanoverian Mare. She's the retired one, I believe. Um, and yeah, and we have little Dexter just chilling in his little puppy pod. Uh, over here we have our Shetland Mare Gucci trying to sneak out. Okay, at my barn we actually did get a Shetland and they cannot keep it in its stall. Uh, her name is... It's like magic or something and they... Apparently she has magic because every time they put her in she manages to get out, so yeah. Okay, over here we have a dog butt and it belongs to our little beagle. Um, we have our halflinger. Gelding, yeah. His name is Cody, and we have our Arabian Stallion. He's been customized, as you can see. I did a little touch-up on him. Someone, a, a, a subscriber sent it to me. And his name is Prince. Over here, we have the Lipizzaner Stallion Lightning. He was the third horse I got, I think, I remember. Trickster was the first horse I got. Okay. So over here we have a little tack up area. This is where people can bring their horses and tack them up. We have the Appaloosa Mare Dakota. She's the 2013 one, I believe. And over here we have Bamboo, the Palomino Stallion. Uh, this, he's wearing one of the first halters I ever made. So yeah, that's, that's pretty big. <laughs> and we have, here, I put down all their names so I wouldn't forget them. Okay. We have Angela. She's getting ready to get his bridle on so he can go in for a lesson. Um, and we have no name. Okay, we'll call her, mm, let's pick a name. We'll call her Paula. <laughs> I don't know, Pony's Paula. Uh, Paula, and she is on our Dartmoor Pony Stallion, Teddy, and they're getting ready to go for a lesson. He's like the cutest pony I've ever seen in my life. Um, over here we have a tack room, just a bunch of stuff. We have part of a lunging set, we have some saddles, halters, bridles, martingales, the works. Okay, and over here is where we keep our poles. Um, and this is our arena, so... Let me, okay, how do I, how do I do this? Okay, cool. I just had like a little weird moment there. Okay, so this is our arena. It's not very big, but it's the most I could do with the space I had, and I'm, I like it, so that's all that matters. So, um, the inside is made with decorative sand. You can get this at any craft store, like Michael's in the flower section, they have a lot because a lot of florists like to use this to decorate their pots. Um, and it works as arena footing. So we have a lesson going on. We have Emily on Calico, who's a camera mare, and they're just going over some cross rail. This is Nate, um, he's teaching her. 
Over there, we have Victoria on Ricochet, our newest tourist, I believe. He's the Trackner Stallion. His footing, if you look, is like really awkward. <laughs> Don't know whether he's, he looks like he might be going into a canner, but I'm not sure. And over here is Lisa on Dusk. Why did I say Dusk? No, it's King. Yeah, Lisa on King. Yeah, it is. Okay. And she's leasing him for a month because he's a great jumper and they go really well together. Um, as for Rico Ricochet, Victoria is just exercising him. He's a little harder to work with. Um, the beginners can't ride him, so yeah. He's, he's a really good boy. Uh, okay, so we have some poles. So from the jump to this is one stride, so that's what they're trying to work on today, strides. Um, over there we have some jump wings and some, kind of like, they're like mini jumps. Okay, so up here is my favorite level because it's the most easier, it's the easiest to reach because it's like my height. Um, okay, so over here we have the purple stalls and I call them the purple stalls because they're like made with purple popsicle sticks. Um, over here is like a tack up area, we have bareback pads. Uh, half sheets, halters, saddle pads, all that. Um, in this stall we have General, our Luis Dano stallion. He's really big, so I can't fit him in like a regular stall, so yeah. And we have our Appaloosa stallion. He's also um, a new 2013 model, and his name is Colorado. So it's Colorado and Dakota, so they have matching names. Um, we have just a random lead rope chillin'. We have our not slouch dog bull, who's like the size of a horse. Do you see that? It's like scary. All right. Oh no! Horse down. Sorry, bud. All right. And over here we have the feed and tack room, um, which has feed and tack. So we have a lot of um, spillers brands. Um, and we have our lunging saddle in there as well as some oats and a broken bridle. Yeah. Okay. We have our quarter horse stallion trickster. Not trickster, quick star. Yeah, they have similar names. And he's really cute. I like him a lot. Um, he also does barrel racing, which is kind of odd for a quarter horse. But, you know. Um, over here we have... Okay, so the thing is, a lot of people just forget to put away their tack, and they'll just hang it up and just never come back. So yeah, so it's, it's whatever. <laughs> we have a saddle, we have some halters, I think. There's a bunch of halters. We have more halters, a bridle, and we have the gymnast just stretching it out. She looks kind of weird, but it's such an awkward position. I feel like with this person, you kind of don't know where to, okay. Yeah, that happened. Um, kind of don't know where to put them because they're just always in... Yeah, whatever. She'll be lunging soon. Um, over here is our 2013 Lip is Honor mare, Maybelline. And she just came back from a successful dressage show. Um, she got a champion, as you can see, so she's pretty good. Over here is a saddle and girth. Um... Just a winter sash, a lead rope, and our Tinker Stallion Argo. Um, so I think she's going to tack him up. He's really comfy to do bareback work on. It's so cute. Uh, and we have our Napstrooper Stallion Jupiter. I absolutely love his coat. It's perfect. And this is just what the inside of our barn looks like. Uh, what I use for bedding is hay. They have uh, it in like small bales at Michael's. You can also, like, if you ride at a stable, just ask if you can steal some. So, yeah. Um, over here, we have a little tack-up area, and we have our two wash stalls. So, back there is a shelf with some boots, and we have a box full of brushes, a chart just um, depicting, depicting the different tack and all of that. We have our lip is on our mare, Cloud. Um, I think she's getting tacked. Saddle's a little lopsided. Um, over here is a pony with no person. All right, so this is Dandy. 
Oh, okay. This is our collie, Lacey, who was also given to me by Moon Witch Stables. Um, and she has, like, an inner herding ability, so she's just doing the best she can to keep him there. Um, and over here we have Marissa, who is tacking up Dante. <clears throat> to do this is one of my, this is the first saddle I ever made, so <laughs> you compare it with the saddles I make now, it's a really drastic change, but yeah. Um, and he's just getting ready to have a lesson, I guess, and she's completely oblivious to the fact that there's a horse behind her, whatever. Okay, so this is the fourth level, um, this is what it looks like. Over here we have our Big Red Barn, um, and this is where the sort of retired horses stay or horses that are on rest. So we have the Tinker Mare Memory and our Frisian Stallion Mystery. We have our Dachshund Ray. Oh, speaking of um, Ray, uh, we took our dog to get her vaccinations today and she was shaking the entire time. That's how scared she was. So yeah, it's just a little memory. Get it, memory, like the horse. I'm so funny. <laughs> no, I'm not. Okay, over here in the barn we have our calf Milky Way and our piglet Wilbur. Um, and up there is our hayloft, if you can see. Um, these are just some jump blocks with a little model dressage rider. I don't know, it's a Playmobil. <clears throat> okay, over here we have our bunnies. So we have Thumper, Oreo, Coco and Poncho. So they're all really cute. Thumper is, he, his ears are just really big. It's from the movie OK Bambi. Just so that it's fall over. So yeah. Um, over here we have the pony stalls. And they are sliding door stalls, as you can see. We have our, one of our birds here. We have another bird over there. Um, this is Apollo. He's a custom. <laughs> he didn't turn out too well, but I love him anyways. Over here is our, um, I almost said Camarg for a second, our Dartmoor Pony Mare Arizona, and this is our Arabian Mare's lovely butt. Um, okay, so this is Snow Angel, and here, let me, remembering names of people is really hard, okay. And Allison is getting ready to put her in the pasture. So right now all the mares are just chilling out in here. So we have um, Moon Dance. It's from the movie Moon Dance Alexander. It's a horse movie. You guys should totally check it out. I loved it. Um, Dante is also named from that movie. So yeah, uh, we have Moonlight, Moonlight and Moon Dance. She's the Pinto mare. And back there we have Eclipse, the Pershron mare. And Eclipse is named from the. Twilight book series, which I absolutely adored, but then I got kind of sick of it, so yeah. <laughs> so that's it, and over here is our truck and trailer, so Nick is just driving out Cobalt, who's our other Frisian stallion. Um, my dog got to him a couple years ago and messed up his face, but you know, he's still a model and I'm not just gonna like, you know, waste anything, so yeah. And this is the new trailer, I believe. So back there is the old trailer. This is sort of the parking lot. And over there we have just some awards and ribbons and trophies we've earned. That's also from Playmobil if you guys want to check it out. Um, so yeah. So this is my Sledge Barn. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, the next video I will have up is episode 3 of my Sledge series. Because I came up with a script during camp. So yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. And I'll have more videos coming up. Oh, and also my tack shop is open again. So if you guys want to order some tack from me, my website is in, um, it's on my channel. If you look at the bottom of, so you, like there's a picture of me and my horse. And then there's like rainbow lines. And right, like at the bottom right corner is where it says my website so you guys can just click that and it'll just bring you over to my website so yeah so thank you guys for watching bye